In this lesson, we'll try to develop midpoint formula. What's a midpoint? A midpoint of a segment AB is a point M that is equidistant from the endpoints A and B of the segment. Let's see how it looks like. For a segment AB, a midpoint M is a point that is positioned exactly at the middle of the segment. So the distance AM is exactly the same as the distance MB. How to find the exact location of the midpoint of a given segment in a system of coordinates? Let's see it. Here we have example of a segment PQ with given coordinates for the endpoint P, negative 2, 5, and the other endpoint Q, 4, negative 2. What if you would like to find the coordinates of the midpoint of this segment PQ? Since the coordinates of our endpoints are integral, then those points are really at the lattice points of the grid. That means at those corners of the squared grid. So if we would like to figure out what are the coordinates of the midpoint M, in this particular example, we can read the coordinates directly from the diagram because it's quite visible that the first coordinate of M is 1 and the second coordinate of this point is exactly half away between 1 and 2, so it should be 3 halves. But we could have some other points P and Q with coordinates that may produce not so obvious diagram, and maybe we won't be able to read from the diagram the coordinates of the midpoint. So what will be the algorithm, what will be the method of finding the coordinates of the midpoint, knowing the coordinates of the endpoints? Well, let's look at this diagram a little bit closer. If we draw two vertical lines to the point P and Q, like this, and the other two horizontal lines also coming through the point P and Q, will form a rectangle. Let's call it P, P1, Q, and Q1, just for easy reference. Then notice that this point M, the midpoint of the segment PQ, it's also a center of the rectangle P, P1, Q, Q1. And the center of such rectangle really lies on the intersection of the two diagonals. Now, if we project this point onto the side Q1, Q and Q, P1, then those projections, this point, is really a midpoint of the segment Q1, Q. And that point is a midpoint of the segment P1, Q. Let's look at coordinates of the point Q1 in this projected midpoint. Since the segment Q1, Q is horizontal, then the second coordinate of each point on the segment is the same, is negative 2. So the second coordinate in both cases is negative 2. The first coordinate of Q1 is the same as the first coordinate of P, which is also negative 2 in this case. And since this point is exactly at the middle between Q1 and Q, its first coordinate is the midpoint between negative 2 and 4. So if we look for a second on the number line and we place the number negative 2, this one, and 4, that one, see this is the same horizontal line, just look at it on the side. So what is the coordinate of the midpoint? Since this point is exactly half away between negative 2 and 4, it can be calculated as an average of negative 2 and 4. So we add those numbers, negative 2 and 4, and divide it by 2. Okay, since 4 minus 2 is 2, divide by 2 is 1. The first coordinate of our future midpoint, yes, it's indeed equal to 1. We confirm the first coordinate of our midpoint M. And let's do the same on the other side of our rectangle. First, let's figure out the coordinates of a point P1. The first coordinate is the same as the first coordinate of the point Q because those two points are on the same vertical line. So it's 4. To get the second coordinate, we're looking at the point P. It is the same as 5. So we have these coordinates. OK. So what are the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment P1, Q? Again, since this point lies on the same vertical line, its first coordinate is still 4, the same. 
However, the second coordinate will be calculated similarly as before as an average of 5 and negative 2. We can see it on the side. If we have a vertical line like this in points negative 2 and 5, the half away mark is exactly an average of these two numbers. So the second coordinate will be calculated as 5 plus negative 2 divided by 2, which is 3 divided by 2, 3 halves. And yes, that's our second coordinate of the midpoint that we read originally from the diagram. So taking average of the first coordinates and then taking average of the second coordinates, it will indeed produce the coordinates of the midpoint. OK, let's give the final answer. The coordinates of the midpoint of our segment PQ are 1 and 3 halves. So let's put together our discovery. The midpoint of any segment with given coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 is the point with coordinates average of the first coordinates and average of the second coordinates of the two given points. So here we have again a diagram of a segment PQ, but this time the coordinates of P and Q are given generally as x1, y1, not a specific number, and x2, y2. We want to see it as general as possible. So the fact that on this diagram the point P has actually coordinate 1, 2 doesn't really matter. We can imagine that those points are movable. Both P and Q can be actually placed anywhere on the grid. It doesn't even have to be at the lattice points. It could be somewhere here. So our segment could be like this or any other segment. So generally, to find out the coordinates of the midpoint, we complete the right triangle like before and we project this midpoint onto the sides of this right triangle. Those projections are really midpoints of the two sides, and those midpoints can be calculated as averages of the endpoints of the sides. Therefore, the first coordinate of the midpoint of the segment PQ is the same as the first coordinate of this point. And the second coordinate of the midpoint M is the same as the second coordinate of that point. So let's figure out what are those coordinates. First, to help ourselves figure out the coordinates of this vertex, let's call it S. OK, since S is on the same vertical line as Q, its first coordinate is called exactly the same X2. And since S is on the same horizontal line as P, its second coordinate will have the same value Y1. Therefore, that midpoint will have first coordinate that is the average of X1 and X2, so X1 plus X2 over 2, and the second coordinate is the same as for the other two points Y1, but this doesn't interest us very much. Similarly, the midpoint of QS has first coordinate the same X2, which will be of no interest to us, but the second coordinate is exactly average of these two. It's a half away between the value Y1 and Y2, which means it is an average Y1 plus Y2 over 2. That's why this is the first coordinate of our midpoint M, and that's a second coordinate of our point M. So again, to calculate coordinates of a midpoint of a segment, take averages of the first and second coordinates of the given endpoints. OK, let's practice a bit. Find the midpoint of the segment PQ if P is given and Q is given. This time, we don't need to graph it. We just need to follow the formula. So let midpoint of the segment PQ be denoted by M, and this point M will have coordinates that can be calculated as averages of the first coordinates and then second coordinates. So the first coordinate is negative 2 plus 3 
over 2 in the second coordinate we're taking care of second coordinates of the given points negative 8 plus 4 over 2 okay so the rest is easy 3 minus 2 is 1 so it's 1 half and the second value negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4 over 2 it's negative 2 so we can give the answer the midpoint of the segment PQ is 1 half and negative 2 and one more example this time we know that 6 negative 5 is the midpoint of the segment PQ and we know one end of the segment Q is given negative 5 negative 8 we need to find the coordinates of the point P so let's sketch the situation we don't have point P we do have the midpoint let's call it M as before it has coordinates 6 negative 5 and we do have the other end point Q and Q has coordinates negative 5 negative 8 how can we find coordinates of P well let's call them X and Y because we don't know them yet and let's try to follow the recipe for finding the midpoint how do we find midpoint well we take average of the first coordinates of points P and Q and this average should be 6 so let's record this in an equation form to have an average we add X and negative 5 divided by 2 and this should be equal to 6 that's our first coordinate of the midpoint secondly we can do the same with Y coordinates so average of the Y coordinates will be Y plus negative 8 over 2 average of these two and that's supposed to be equal to the second coordinate of the midpoint which is negative 5 now we have two equations each of them in one variable and we are able to solve for X and Y let's try it both equations we can multiply by 2 to get rid of those denominators so we have X plus and minus means just minus 5 equals 2 times 6 is 12 and the second equation similarly y minus 8 equals 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 okay therefore if we add 5 to the first equation we have x equals 12 plus 5 is 17 and if we add 8 to the second equation y would be negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2 which means that our coordinates of the point P are 17 and negative 2 so we can give the final answer P has coordinates 17 and negative 2